Okay, so if any of you saw yesterday's video, uh, we went beach combing me and my buddy Scott, he's got hurt. He has a snap tendon in his um, bicep. So it, you guys don't try not to hurt your friends when they're helping you out and I feel terrible. I really do. And Scott, if you see this, I'm sorry again, man. Like, uh, ah, I hate seeing my friends in pain. So anyways, guys, let me turn the camera around here and I'll show you guys what we're going to do today. These are the logs I got before me and Scott went back yesterday, okay? So this is, I don't know, I think it's a Douglas fir. This is cedar. This one's like a nine foot cedar or something, eight foot cedar and another cedar board. Well, this is the one I want to carve today. It's, it's kind of got nice shape of a lady kind of thing, you know, it's just nice and smooth. So, but um, this has a hole in it too, so I'm not sure how far that goes. I could stick something in there to see see how far that goes down but you can see back here like all all that's out it's not looks like it's burnt but it's not this piece is soaking wet I think it's Douglas fir but anyway so I don't I don't know how much depth I have but I'm gonna carve one of those like I said I'm gonna carve one of those wood spirits that Ryan Cook taught me how to carve when it's still fresh in my mind let's see if I can remember how to do it okay so um, what I'm gonna do is make a first cut, like a nice clean cut, like a S shape, guys. Think of S shapes, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I gotta get this piece mounted up on this log first. Guys, a big thing to remember when you're doing any type of carving or whatever, is just try and make yourself comfortable. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set this up on the stump back there and make it a bit higher. Okay, so this is my, this will be my accept, second attempt of this kind of carving wood spirit. It's like he's, trying to get out of uh inside the tree right like but i've seen pictures on this online a couple years ago and it kind of looked like uh he was trying to get out of uh well we have let me just uh, explain this in a nice way youtube friendly let's say we have a city in canada called regina it starts with an r so just pretend he's the ones that i saw pictures of it looks like he was trying to get out of the city regina so we don't want it to look like he's trying to get out of Regina. Regina is not a bad city, but let's just, okay, Jordy. So you look at this piece and where do you see your lines here? You know, like, that's, that's my biggest challenge right now is where do I see my lines? Coming here? That's going to be my first cut lines, right? So I'll figure that out. But you see, when you look at the piece, you kind of look at the lines, right? Okay, I got my lines drawn on there, so you guys aren't going to be able to see them. But it's going to go up here, and down here. Like Ryan said in my video, if you heard it, I'm a teardrop. Also, guys, head over to Ryan's channel, give him some sub subscribe. And you can tell by the last video I did where Ryan was teaching me how to do this. Uh very inspirational person and a, a great teacher he was a, actually able to teach me and I'm not good at um, well listening to people about lessons and stuff like that so head over to his channel okay, I gotta cut these in okay you guys can see I got my shape cut in there at first I started using my uh, my uh, 193 with a dime tip bar but this saw is not running good it needs a new spark plug or something up with the carb then I started using this with the 8 inch cannon bar 193 with the but I figured like whoa 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 that's gonna take too much work to do that with that little that's for like uh, small carvings guys but this is really bold super hard Douglas fir so then I just used by 201 to uh, block it out but I got to get a carving bar for this because carving bars don't really kick back I was told these things kick back really easy so but I got to get a carving bar for this anyways so let's move forward I'm not a I don't love the shape of it but that's okay so I got to figure where I want to put his face so remember guys depth I got to remember how much depth I have here right so um,
kind of there in his eyes kind of like that and last time Ryan said he was worried because I brought my mustache down just like this and I realized it was going to be a thin mustache after you get his mouth in there so I got to make sure when I make this cut here that I also I bring the mustache out right so I got to remember to cut here then switch to cut and bring it out like this okay so I'll get this face cut in now and we'll see where it goes from there okay so that's what I got so far for this wood spirit that uh, Ryan made me he had all this cool texture on the top so I tried just kind of making different textures his kind of more went like I don't know his went his style so I'm just trying to remember step by step see how I kind of rounded out these eyes with my saw left you got to leave these sides here like a skull kind of thing so it's you got a side here anyways so like with this little eight inch cannon bar I'm gonna be only use this for really soft wood like cedar wood spirits or texturing so like I don't have much experience doing texturing on carvings like that up there right so you know those pro carvers do lots of textures with different textures like they use different sides of the chain right so they'll use this side for one thing and this side for another thing because it all comes into effect right I'm just basically used to, used to using right down here but Ryan showed me use the top of the bar for different things the bottom of the bar for different things the tip for different things and each side for different things I'm not at that level yet because well I just got to be shown right because or if, try and figure it out myself so my next step is uh, I think Ryan would say um, see I did uh, I put my bar in here like this for the mustache like he showed me like that and then his bottom lip like he showed me and then I'll it's a little bit thin this bottom lip but now I think I'll probably work on the nose so he said like uh, cut here soft this is when you take your time right here soft and then kind of just round it up like this anyways I don't know I'll film this part of it because it should be a joke Okay, so I got all the beard detail then so much different than my normal style right like I'm trying to learn new ways because once I get this figured out guys just like if you guys are trying to learn my style give it some time I don't expect this piece to turn out wicked awesome I expect it to turn out like a piece of crap okay just but give it looks like a moon but just give it some time you know and I wish I would have started on a piece of cedar. Well, I didn't want to wreck that one, but practice on a piece of softer wood than this. Because this Douglas fir, this piece is, this stuff's like carved rocks to me, okay? So I did what he showed me kind of with the saw. His nose isn't that good, but he talks about planes, right? Like, so there's a plane here, a plane here, a plane here. And different planes and stuff, but I'm just... You guys, when somebody's teaching you, you can't expect to remember everything, right? So I'm just trying my best. I did what he did with his lip there, put the chainsaw in. So you got your bottom lip here. What My Dremel work will make this the top lip, and I'll be able to curve this out and stuff like that. And um, so I think at this point, I'm really excited to do the hand. You know, and also Ryan said, like, when you're doing a piece like this, and I totally agree with him and understand what he's talking about, and I try to too. 
try and leave the outside of the wood like naturally like decayed looking right like this but you can see here there's a pen line so I don't know I'll probably have to clean up the whole outer I'll figure something out to do clean it and burn it or something and here like you can see I hit it with my chainsaw so just try and keep the out like up here is pretty good but then you come down here you can see I hit it with my chain so just do your best guys that's all you can do that and it's just about having fun if I wasn't having fun trying this I wouldn't be trying it okay so like look look at this what is this up here looks like it's just part of the tree right it's trying new things so I think now I want to put in his eye try and carve the hand that was super uh, fun last time the hands watching them come to life so let's see if I can remember how he showed me how to do it so where's a good spot for the hand um, he says to look at your own hands but let's just go uh, right here and he said the hands don't have to be perfect because it's it's you're carving a goddamn tree man okay guys I wasn't filming that but if you want to see how to learn how to do the hands you can look at uh, my and Ryan Cook's video and he will be having a video coming out pretty soon how to do this but you see here I cut through because I was so just trying to cut deeper to figure out these hands so it's got four fingers and I cut through it but you can see it doesn't uh, really connect with the hand the hand would be coming the arm would be coming this way whatever I don't I really don't care it's a practice piece so I can see now this eye is wider than this one but I don't know it's Dremel time okay, so I think I'll kind of put a mark here and a mark here step back take a look see if it's equal one eye there's the next eye guys always take a break from your pieces step back drink your coffee enjoy it right okay so those are uh, those are pretty good for me okay so I got my eyes drawn on pretty uh, equal if you look at them so now I got this Cutsaw Extreme Flame Burr. You guys want to get these burrs? I'm going to clean it first. Go to the description below. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is carve on the inside of these lines. On the inside. And try and make it look like a round ball. Like a like a golf ball is in there. You just see that little piece of the golf ball stuck in there. So a round kind of thing, right? So, okay. Kind of got like the Sasquatch look there, but you see, this is all new. This is the top part of this like uh, mustache, right? The skin mustache. Here's his hands. They're a little bit small. It's okay, because you got to look like one, like Ryan taught me. One, two, three. So three parts of the finger. One, two, three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So now I'm super pissed off. Ryan gave me one of those burrs that he uses, those Dremel burrs that uh, he burns the eye pupils in and stuff like that. And I can't find it. It's driving me nuts. So I got this kind of thing here. So I'll just do this. And you guys, like Ryan also told me, when you do the, no the eyes, it's when you really sit back and be like, okay, I'm taking my freaking time. It's when you take your time. This isn't the tutorial because this is this guy looks like a sass. Well, he's a wood spirit. Smoke going on the screen. Anyways, I'm gonna get these eyes done. 
Wish me luck. Okay. So this guy has a really long face. That's because I wasn't concentrating on the length of the nose. Like the, no the length of the nose can give him a long face, right? I wasn't concentrating on that when I was trying to focus on what Ryan taught me. I was concentrating on my cuts. But you see his eyes look pretty good. This one's kind of uh, a little bit this way, but whatever. That piece, that bit that I did have burned, it burned pretty good. So you see I burned the lip inside there. I think Ryan showed me that. Burnt the fingernails in and uh, some age lines that kind of go up this way. So now I got this uh, Makita finger sounder. This is uh, Ryan's favorite tool to use. This is, this is his magical tool and this is 36 grit on here. Okay, so I'm gonna go along and try and just uh, clean it up without wrecking it, I guess. Maybe, sorta. Or is it already wrecked? Okay, everybody so it's done uh, it's done now <clears throat> um, you know I want to say like uh, thanks for taking the time to show me new tricks Ryan and I really look forward to um, next time we're able to carve together and I'll be able to come and help you out with some of your projects if you would like um, and guys when you're learning something new it's gonna take a long like a lot of practice trials till you get good at it right like this guy's cool I like him, but his face is a little bit long, wherever, his face is a little bit long, I'll show you in a second, but um, you guys just keep practicing over and over and over again, you're an all art, you're all, you're all an artist, it's in there somewhere, you just have to find it, and once you start learning cutting in the eyebrows, and the nose, and you get that kind of shaped out, then you, then you're on to it, then you're starting to get somewhere, right, just start slow, you can do it. Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so let me show you this guy and uh, I'm gonna carve another one. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay, so like uh, in here where it's darker, that's bug holes, right? Like in here, right here, that's a wormhole too. There's nothing I can do about it. There's still pen on the uh, eyes. But uh, Ryan kind of taught, well, he did teach me how to do eyes like this. They'll get better every one I do. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. And like Ryan's told me too, he goes, and he said it in my video, guys, if you watch my video recently where I carved with Ryan Cook, he said, you're gonna find, you're gonna, I'm gonna take his style, okay? I'm gonna take his style, and every, or the thing that he showed me, and every time that I do it, it's gonna turn into mine and mine and mine. My style. Does that make sense to you? Like this hand? The more that I do it, the better they'll get. Really, right? I got his fingernails in there, and like this kind of right here, Ryan did his own thing. His kind of made it look like it was pushing onto the wood, but I just did this. Practicing texture with my chainsaw, right? With my eight inch uh, bar. So, you know, I knew his face was kind of long, but it's okay. I'm fine with that. You know, normally when I would carve a wood spirit in a log, I sell those for 150 bucks. This, well, a lot more than 150 bucks. Cause I put some good time into it. So you guys just put, Practice and practice, always sign your pieces. Practice and practice and practice, guys. The more you practice, the better you're gonna get. Like if Ryan sees this video or any pro carvers like Steve Kanzora out there, Steve, hi Steve. Um, they're gonna look at this and they're gonna pick it apart. But it's okay. 
I'm fine with that. They can tell me what my errors were. See this bottom lip here? That's like, Ryan showed me how to do that. His buddy Kevin on the island does it like that too. So bottom lip, top lip. I could have made it more mustache than the lip, but that's okay. You gotta learn somewhere, right? So I'm not gonna film it, but I'm gonna not, I'm gonna try another one on this piece of cedar that I got from the beach yesterday. <laughs> Hope everybody's good, and uh, just enjoy what you're doing, man. It makes life a lot better. I better shut up before this video gets uh, too long. Hey, Kelvin, check this out. took his chin too thin. I don't know. Whatever. Just having fun, right? And the uh, burner that I used didn't really burn inside the eyes to give it that effect. That's okay. I'll still be able to sell this no problem. I like this guy better. Ah, excuse me. Anyways, guys, hope you're all good. And like, like I said earlier, challenge yourself, right? Um... I'm gonna come back for this tomorrow. I think it's just like a crappy poplar wood. It's got the hole in here. I wonder if there's a little mouse hiding in there. So anyways, I don't know, because I know right here is gonna be not much wood because I can see where the hole goes in here, right? And there's mud in there. So, I might have to spin it the back side. Curve this side. I think there's more wood. Look, you can almost see a nose right there. <laughs> okay. Uh, by the time you guys are watching this video, I get home, I'm going to upload it. By the time you guys watch this video, I'm going to be ordering a... I'm going to... Let me start over again. By the time you guys watch this video, I'm going to be eating a pizza, okay? Jeez. Jeez. Guys, I'd love to hear ideas on this. <laughs> That's a spinning snowman, all right. I gave it to Judy. Also, she's got some of my carvings here. Some of my earlier stuff. There's the first eagle I did. <laughs> More like a dodo bird. But uh, I'm leaving this here for Scott. I did this one too. But this one here is for Scott for um, hurting himself. Okay, dodo bird. <laughs>